Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Here are two costly mistakes APC made that will make Obaseki defeat Ize Iyamu completely without question. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Thanks for being there. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. Uh, thank you so much. Let's carry on. Uh, we know that Ize Iyamu is seriously looking forward to becoming the governor of Edo State at all costs. Um, governor Gordon Obaseki has been the governor for the past three years, nine months, and has done tremendous you know, work and impact in Edo State. And the people of Edo State, most people are saying, come back and govern us again due to the achievement in office and what you have done. We are quite pleased with you. We want you to come back. However, Adam Sushomole, Ize Iyamu's political ally, is saying uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki has to leave the post because he is somebody who is ungrateful or grateful being termed to say that um, he refused to open the door treasuries to some people. However, the polls will justify, you know, they say the ends justify the means. The polls, the votes of the people will decide for us who a do people has finally picked. Let's get on to the news and get all the details. Here are two costly mistakes APC has made that will make Obaseki defeat Ize Iyamu completely come September 19th. Well, the political atmosphere in Edo State is well is well populated right now, especially with the all-weighted September 19 governorship election. It's going to be an educative, information, and interactive session with the people for them to know who their uh, candidates will be. We have seen all over that the people has been intimated due to the candidates going around from what to what campaign on the achievement or what they intend to do in Edo State. The political tension being weakness in Edo State is quite similar to what happened in Lagos when former Governor Ambador was denied political ticket in 2019 based on the issue, you know, with Godfatherism. The issue of Edo State is quite different because there is this slogan that Obaseki and his camp is saying, Edo no be Lagos. Ambadon was, de was denied the ticket because he refused to be associated with political godfather who apparently brought him into power. But when he saw the effect in, it, in Lagos, State, decided to go without the godfather. Today, we have the slogan in Edo State due to what happened to that man, Edo Nobi, Lagos. According to various media outlets, it has been reported that Obasekis fell out with Oshomole and as such, this may affect his political career in Edo State. However, Obaseki has gone above and beyond and has definitely been able to prove to the people that he is who Oshomole said to them in 2016. A man of clear mind and clear conscience, a man ready to bring about development, a man who is looking forward to Edo State being transformed completely overall, especially with industrializing the whole state, starting bit by bit. He has done above and beyond, given opportunity in just three years and nine months in office. Obaseki has been able to touch almost all the sectors in Edo State. So from the health to the judiciary, to, to development, to pensions, to education, to mention but a few, Obaseki has made significant progress that has made the people of Edo State from war to ward, leaving other parties to troop and become members of People Democratic Party because they have seen true development and they trust in this man that is actually God's project to Edo State. Oshomole, on the other hand, is hell-bent on Gavin, Gavin Governor Obaseki leave the seat so he can bring a man in who will become a do state, the person of Pastor Usage Ize Iyamo. They have gone ahead all way humanly possible to bring in, even as far to bring in Hollywood, act, Nollywood actors to persuade the votes of the people of a do state. But two major mistakes that the APC is making is that Oshomole words to Edo State cannot be eradicated just in a hurry. 
is a Yamu court case that keep coming reoccurring again and again and they are looking forward to sweeping under the carpet is a huge surprise to the people of Edo State. Talk they say is cheap but the constant court case and pressure from all quarters on Ize Iyamu, as well as Adam Sushomole's words being changed within seconds to say that the words he said before was all political and he never meant it, is a real source of concern. This and many other attributes of Adam Sushomole is making the vote swing in Obaseki's position and Obaseki's favor. Obaseki, on the other hand, has been able to prove to the people of Edo State that there is more to him and given the opportunity and chance, he wants to make Edo State realize that there is true and truth and what is, the, what is being termed democracy. Democracy, he said, is what he wants to present to the people of Edo State after being an investment banker. Being from this state is an opportunity to act and to give the people true government. Also, during one of the campaign, APC has gone ahead and has attacked Baseki's um, convoy, whom the, which the people have seen. The desperation of APC is clear for all to see in the state. PDP, on the other hand, has pointed at APC. APC pointed at PDP. People are watching. Two policemen died in Oshomole's convoy, being uh, a source of gossip right now in a do state that there is more to the accident Oshomole has been involved in since he became the governor of a do state up until now. Every time there is a political situation going on, there is always an accident that he comes out on scratch, yet others give their life. These and many more are some of the reasons why the vote is gradually swinging on Obaseki's part of the train. Well, they do stay there, you have it. Uh, they're saying that um, Governor Gordon Obaseki stands a better chance of winning the election as a result of some mistakes that APC has made. Well, people of Edo State, this is what, you know, people are saying. But at the end of the day, you are the one to pick your candidate. You are the one to pick who you feel, who you think have the capacity, have the, you know, what it takes to give Edo State the real development development all around what are we talking about the elections is around the corner so close you cannot even imagine you cannot begin to say the elections are exactly seven days from today by this time next week we'll be hearing results results would have been ongoing uh we'll be hearing which who has won which word and at the end of it uh apc uh pdp will be hearing who have become the next governor of a do state. The ball is rolling, and uh, like we always say in our, in our media, Apolline media, uh, um, the ball is in your court. Now in your court, a do people, everyone who is eligible to vote right here and now. Pick a candidate that you know, you think, will have the potential to bring you more into the next phase of development in a do state. God bless you from us. It's bye for now.